Well, come in, y'all. Cindy, good to see you here. I have a I have a couple of ideas for you for an elevator pitch. Will be. I heard um, someone the other day, and I took all sorts of notes. You have a new elevator pitch you don't even know about. I just want to let you know. Just it's coming. I, I need I need like ten minutes to write it all out. But you, you have one. You just don't know it. Always fun when clients pop onto a webinar. You know, <laughs> read, you know quick coaching stuff. Uh, let's talk about today the the one of the most important parts of your marketing because uh, no matter what marketing tactic you use, uh, your elevator pitch comes into play. It's part of it. This is the the basic building block of what you're doing. <clears throat> um, literally, I, I made a list. I gave myself five minutes to come up with as many marketing tactics as possible, and this is the list I came up with. And uh, all of them use some version of the elevator pitch. No matter what you're doing, you've got to uh, be able to answer the question, what do you do? Um, 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 <laughs> has to be when when you get woken up at two in the morning and somebody says, what do you do? There, you have your standard, this is what I do. Uh, because, and, and most people are, are grasping for words because they think that they're instantly going into a sales mode. Not even close. Your elevator pitch is designed to get people to raise their hand and say, oh, wow, I'd like more information. So all you're doing is giving them enough information to do that. All right. And today, uh, what we're going to talk about, five things that are guaranteed to make your elevator stories better. Now, when we do, we have a long version of this. But there's 10. I think we covered this weekend. Um, three awesome elevator story template types. You'll get the template. Mm -hmm. uh, you're going to get some free help and huge, huge bonus we haven't shared. Uh, actually, we've shared it one other time. One other time. So this is the second time we've shared that slide. A uh, little about us. Uh, we were lucky enough to compete and were voted America's number one coaching team for small business marketing. That picture on the right was us. We were, we were number four out of the five finals to take the stage. Uh, we've turned a lot of entrepreneurs into entrepreneurs. Uh, our goal is to explain uh, the keys of getting what you want for your business. I've done seven different best-selling business books. The next one is coming out October 6th. In fact, uh, the book is the book's done. The book is is I could press click the the launch button on Amazon now, but but we're not ready. No, we have we have the marketing part of the book to do, uh, but the book itself is done. I, I'm we even have the PDF that we would send out to, to clients. I have the client PDF Thank you. ready to go. Well done. Covers included. So, uh, it, it, in our world, it's about to become all book all the time. Because uh, when we launch a new book, it is, it's, it's a big deal. Uh, been interviewed by some really neat people. And what's fun is that... Uh, when those folks ask what questions do you want asked, uh, it all comes back to elevator pitch. Uh, quite often, uh, we'll give enough questions and we'll do several different elevator pitches depending on the question that we give them to ask us. Uh, today, our goal is to, to teach you how to promote your business with a better story. Uh, a couple times a year, we do our business breakthrough boot camps. In fact, we do them this month in mm -hmm. September. Yeah. We'll give you an invite to that. I've uh, been quoted in over 500 publications and radio shows and podcasts. And today we want to begin with one of the most important things you are going to learn today. Get your pens ready, ladies and gentlemen. If you saw this on Facebook, what would you write? And would it be too short? Would it be too thin? Would it be, I'm a financial planner? Or would it be, I help people retire the way they want to. I give people a better retirement. What would you type in that's going to get people to comment on your post? Um, the other thing, if you, you. if you saw this on a website, and I did, websites there on the right side, what would you think they did? And the, what was bizarre is that I looked at this on that website and I thought, 
almost every business could write this. I give custom solutions. Well, McDonald's can't. They give you a burger. But they, but they customize but they their could, burger. Yeah, they could. So even McDonald's could do that. Yeah. Or or we watched the um, – one of my guilty pleasures is, it, is an Instagram page that runs old ad, television ad, and the, the Burger King ad was there. Hold the pickle, hold the lettuce. Just <laughs> the way up and bend lettuce. So even they could have a custom solution on a burger. Most people would like to would admit to doing quality work, and yes, we support our clients. So if you saw this on our website, what do you – there's nothing to differentiate them. Yeah. So your elevator pitch has got to differentiate you because there are other people that do what you do. What? Yeah. So how well you create your pitch is going to determine if people actually consume it or don't. Oh, my God. That's a lot of pressure on you. All right. Let me give you some things that are going to make your elevator pitch better. Now, let's talk about something first. We use a lot of terms for it. Elevator pitch, elevator speech, elevator this and that. The idea is not to, to come up with the perfect 30 second. The idea is to make you a better pitcher. Um, quite often we'll, we'll be at some chamber event where one person after another goes and goes and I'll be listening to them and I'll say, oh, I can riff off of that. And by making yourself a better pitcher, uh, you can be ready for that. First thing, hello, my name is, is killing your business. Wah, wah, wah. I know, it's sad. It is. Here's why. When you go around a networking room and every person starts with, hi, my name is, your subconscious starts thinking, I've heard that before. I don't need to tune in now. And it okay. Exactly. And it trots on down the hall and does other stuff. And you don't pay attention to what they're saying because your subconscious is rather busy, which is one of the reasons why if you're just taking a shower and, and you get a really good idea because your subconscious says, I don't need to be here for this. I can you know, go do some real important work and you get an idea. So if you start with, hi, my name is, it kills your elevator pitch. So instead, you want to start with a quote. A statement, or my favorite, is a question. Let me give you an example. Uh, what was the name of your first pet? What color is your car? What color are your eyes? What high school did you go to? What's your favorite book, TV show? What's your favorite sports team? Are you answering all of these questions? Do you wish I'd stop asking you questions? Yes. The human mind cannot not answer a question. Sharon is sitting right next to me. She has heard me do this. <laughs> I have gone through that that exercise dozens of times, and she still you still answer the questions, didn't you? Most of them. Yeah, most some of them are, are we've we've heard this before, and so the life of exactly. just tunes out. <laughs> so you're going to start with a question, a statement, or a quote. Uh, we hear people all the time that say, "You must memorize it." No, you don't. You must be off book. No, you don't. No, we're not hiring you as an actor. Exactly. We don't care if you've memorized your lines. <laughs> this is as, as dumb as you were on a call the other day and the, the guy on the call said, did the stupid, if your name badge in an elevator at a oh, right. networking event isn't on the left side, then people that, that read your, that shake your hand, they, they can't read your, shut up. I was Sharon. I was on the call here. I'm over there at my desk, and I looked at her. Are you muted? Yeah, she was ready to go. Shut the hell up! I was just so pissed. No, it's okay to write it. That way, you're you are you become a better pitcher because you're not worried about what to say. You've got your notes right there, so it's totally okay to write it down. Most people will say, "Oh my God, Cindy's reading it. She thought about this in advance." I wish I was like Cindy. I wish I had done mine in advance. Uh, having a raffle prize or a call to action is vital. You have to tell them what to do next. Now, it, where we are here, we're, we're going to get through all of our slides, and we're going to give you, all of you a chance to do an elevator pitch if you wish. And the, the call to action most of the time here is going to be my information in the chat. Let's connect for whatever the free thing or whatever the thing is you're going to do. 
Uh, with raffle prizes, we say don't give away bottles of wine. Because, you own the winery. Yep. Inevitably, the person that wins will have 12 years in program. Uh, a gift card to one of those coffee places, unless you want a coffee place. Because uh, we were just at a one of those chains, and I pulled a gift card out of my wallet. Couldn't remember for the life of me who gave it to me. Oh, well. Um, I tend to use our books. You know, uh, in fact, ooh, I'm going to have to update this slide pretty soon because we will have our next book out. Uh, we always give out our books as raffle prizes. By the way, if you would like one of our raffle prizes, uh, one of our books, uh, our email address is on the screen. Grab it. Uh, you can, in, in fact, what's going to happen later is I'm going to say, you know, send me the email pitch, work on it. We'll work on it by email. Um, if you want one of our books, let us know which book you want, and we'll send it off to you. Don't ask for the new one. Only our clients get the new one until it's published. Uh, one other thing that we give away all the time are free tickets to our boot camp. Uh, the next one's coming up in September, if you would like to come. So this month. Yeah, this month. Uh, the 23rd and 29th, we're doing it virtually. Uh, we'll be here. You'll be where you are right now. Or, or wherever you want wherever to be. You wanna be. Uh, if you'd like to come, uh, in one day, we put your entire marketing plan together. So you can either put your email in the chat with the date you want, or go to planyourmarketing.com, uh, or you can scan the QR code, or you can miss out. Um, body language, very important. I shot these three photos at one networking event in one mm -hmm. day. In one day. More important than which side your name tag is on. Oh, good lord! I just, I just Indiana, can't. We're having a I just can't <laughs> even. <laughs> I mean, it's usually some you know seventy-something-year-old guy who. Never mind. Which you are. I'm just, I know I'm putting way too much thought into it. <laughs> um, feet shoulder apart, hands at your side or at the, the right in front. Keep them within your body frame. There, if you were taking uh, a neurolinguistic programming course, there are, are three different uh, things that you can do just to be, to make your, you know, emphasize. Uh, but you want to keep your movement down. So if you are moving all around the place or if you look uncomfortable uh, or if you look like you're too casual, uh, their subconscious is going to think, I don't really need to pay attention to this person. Now, if you're doing it virtually, how do you come across in your box? Have the box on the left. We were, we were on the Uncensored Society podcast case. Those that are coming through, marvelous on our box. The two on the right uh, were at two different Chamber of Commerce Zooms. One person decided instead of closing the blinds, she just put on sunglasses, and the other person came, well, just as you are, I guess, as you are. So, in fact, there, were, there was um, uh, the Olympics in the back. They were, they were what, the Winter Olympics, what's that called? Curling. Going on back. I wish she had curled her hair. Oh. Uh, you get 52 words. For your elevator story. Yep. The preamble to the Constitution, 52 words. If they can describe the United States that way, I think we can describe our business that way. So 52 words plus your call to action. That generally equals 30 seconds. And most of the time, they give you 30 seconds to give your elevator pitch. It's just mathematically perfect. Now, if you think that's difficult, we're going to do an elevator pitch that has 50 words or so. Ready? I'm ready. You start. Okay. Since we only have 30 seconds, here's what we do for you and your sales and marketing in just 14 words. Clarity. Focus. Decisions. Marketing. Messaging. Urgency. Consistency. Revenue. Proven. Results. Guarantee. You. Us. Now. Our coaching group is your marketing easy button to effectively share your sales message with prospects so they know who you, that you care. Uh, see how our system works. Go to howtogetthereefaster.com for your free Get Your Business Focus Call. 50 words plus the call to action. And yes, that was under 30 seconds. All right. Three easy elevator speech models. First one is designed 
you're at the backyard barbecue or you're in line at the chamber for the shrimp and the chips and the salsa. Ooh, that sounds good. Really grocery store. Oh, I'm sure are the grocery store. And you're chatting with the person. They say, so what do you do? Too many people panic. They go into sales mode. Don't do no. All you're doing is sharing two sentences. And this is, this is like 30-something words. You're just sorting. Let the people say, oh, tell me more. So you use one of these three to begin. You know how. Now, it isn't you know how. But you know how. Conversational. Or, yeah. Or, have you ever? Or can you picture? The, the alternative to that is, well, imagine this. Jan, this is a great one for you. Yeah. Imagine is a great one for you. She's Jan is a hypnotherapist, so don't look at her eyes. Um, <laughs> so the, the imagine gets people going into their mind. Um, here are a couple of examples. Can you picture rapidly increasing your sales but lack to plan to lead you down the marketing path? Well, I'm the marketing trail guy to keep you up and moving. And then you shut up. Well, you give yours, not mine. <laughs> don't memorize that. Uh, can you picture your marketing without guessing waste of time or, or money? Well, Sharon and I bring that picture into focus and make it huge and vivid. Oh, uh, well, I work at Walmart. Well, cool. Yeah, if, they don't, if they don't own a business. You it work, doesn't really matter what you think. Yeah, if you, oh, you work at Walmart, can I get your employee discount? <laughs> it seems we're buying an awful lot of cat food there right now. Um, <laughs> and the 33-pound bag is, you know, like, 40 bucks and we like to give a discount. So that's the first one. So write down, you know how, will I? Now for us, it's, will we? Uh, have you ever, can you picture or imagine? That's the first one. Uh, if you are doing your elevator pitch in person, uh, props are always approved. And on Zoom as well. Yeah. Uh, our new book is coming out. This isn't it. This is our last book. Uh, I just ordered the Maya camera. I just ordered the proof version. So when we're talking about our book, uh, and toward the, the last week or so of September, again, our business will be all book all the time because it comes out October 6th. Uh, we will each have a proof copy and we will show our book. You can get this book for only 99 cents. And when you order it for 99 cents on this day, October 6th, you get, and there's going to be a list of different stuff. Now, that list of stuff will be on the back of the book so that when we hold up our book, we can just read down the list. When you buy, when you go to overwhelmedandoverthinking.com on October 6th and invest 99 cents, you're going to get, not only will you get the book, you will get this and this and this, and this, and this, and I'll just go down the list. Make sense? Props are okay. Gallagher made a living using props. Props are excellent. The standout statement. This is two sentences. Just two. Unless you want to add, unless you want to add your call to action at the end, at the end then you get how many? Three. Easy math. What we're doing, this is, this is the template. And now this is how it gets filled in. You know how many, and it isn't, we're not asking for a number. It's, you know, many small business owners struggle with, and what is her number one problem that you solve? Well, what I do is, and then you give the solution so that they will live a long, healthy life. The way they say. So you're filling in those four blanks. And then you add, if you'd like to see how our system works, my information is in the chat. So it's a very simple system. Let's give you a couple of examples. You know, many small business, and sometimes I'll just take out the, the, the how many. You know, many small business owners struggle with creating a marketing message to itself. And now I made it a statement instead of a question. It's just the, the option you have. Well, what I do is I create an easy path so that their marketing becomes easy, even fun. And then I give my call to action, and the other one's below that. 
So it's very simple, easy to remember. So there's your template. You'll see the template again. The third one, this is a hard one, but we meet people all the time that are, are invited to networking events as a guest. Now the, the pressure is, oh my God, all this fresh meat, I have to get them to, to like me right away or I don't stand a chance to get their business. I only have one shot. This is it. I'll never see them again. Yeah, forget that. Don't worry about it. You're not going to get their business. So you might as well have fun and let someone else do your elevator pitch for you. Oh, how so? I get there early and my job is to find out who's running the event, who's the MC, mistress of ceremony. Uh, I start asking them questions. And I usually start with, you know, I'm really new at this networking thing. <laughs> now, that is the God's honest truth. It's my <laughs> first time there. <laughs> at this networking At this thing. networking thing. Okay, so I may not, I may change the I'm kind of new at doing this networking thing. So can you tell me how the, how the morning is going to go? And it usually revolves around, we introduce our guests, then we have one 10-minute speaker, and then we do our uh, announcements, then everyone gets a chance to do their 30 seconds, and then we have private networking or something like that. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate that. Now I, I feel so much more comfortable. Hey, what do you do? And I start asking questions. What do they do? Because I like doing it. You know, what's, the, what's their favorite thing about it? What do they do when they're not doing it? I just get to know them. So now I am, it is, it is time for the meeting. We are going around, around the room and it's now my turn. I could stand up and say, you know how many small business owners struggle with creating a marketing message that sells? Well, what I do is create an easy to follow path so that their marketing becomes easy, even fun. And then I give a call to, I could do that. Most people aren't going to pay attention to me because I'm not from the norm. I'm not, you know, normally there. So what I do is, hey folks, my name is Hank. I'm a business coach. Really, that's not important, but I got to tell you, I felt so welcome today. Sharon, who's running this event, was, I got here not knowing what to expect, and Sharon walked me through it. And I'm telling you, she does human resources for companies. And if you have a challenge with your employees, I'm telling you, in just a few minutes we spent together, uh, she's, she's the right person to talk to. So if you haven't invested time and haven't taken Sharon out to coffee or something, and finding out what she does for you're, you're missing the boat completely. Again, my name's Hank. I'm a business coach. Thanks for having me here. And I put my ass. Sharon, who's running the meeting. Oh my goodness, Hank! Thank you so much. That was so sweet. And then she'll talk, <laughs> then she'll start talking about me. I'm I, so I, glad you showed up early. I got to know you. Meanwhile, I'm drinking my coffee. <laughs> And she starts talking about what a great business coach I must be and everybody ought to go get my business coach. That's third party validation. Yeah. This is hard. It's brave. It, you gotta be brave. Yeah. It's hard to do it. It's my favorite. It's not that hard. I mean you're yeah. just talking. It's not that hard. But it does take a bit of gun. Yeah. Leap of faith. I, I, it's a leap of faith. I, I learned this one from a friend of mine named Casey and, and I'm telling you, I love doing this one. We, the last time we got to do this, we were we were speaking at a Rotary Globe group. We were the speakers, but everyone still got to say who they were. And my goal was to get everyone to talk to the guy that had invited us there. because we, we want him to hire us as a coach. So I used all my time. You know, I don't know if you've talked to Greg about his State Farm insurance, but honestly, you really need to talk to him. We are so happy to be his clients. He's been on top. I mean, I, I basically gave his 30 seconds. And I watched him smile the whole time. And I sat down and I thought, I don't care if I meet anyone else here today. My mission was done. So this is the hard one. It's awesome. Uh, put this in your back pocket. Uh, trust yourself to, to do it. It is, it is going to work for you. Uh, bonus slide we've only shared one time before. 
You've got to tell us what makes you different. There are other financial planners. There are other bookkeepers. There are other insurance. There are other everythings. When we hear an elevator pitch that sounds like somebody else in your industry could do it, you, you lost an opportunity. You know, you're going to hear Cindy do one. Is she paying attention? Good. Um, Cindy's going to go first when we when we do this. I just teed her up. <laughs> and you're going to hear her talk about she became a financial planner. One of the reasons was that when she was a little kid, uh, she used to, to empty her parents' change um, jar. jar. And she used to line up all the denominations. And she was really, she was excited to find out when when the number total number went up. And she realized years later that that was like, she'd love to do that for other people too. So you're going to hear this. That's the one you're going to do, Cindy. <laughs> and not every financial, she, she becomes not every financial planner. She becomes a human that you want to meet and hear more about how she does what she does because she's like awesome at what she does. Do we have any other clients here today? Uh, well, we have Jan. Okay. And we have Leroy. He's not a client, but we have Leroy. Okay. So Leroy is going to come on. And and Leroy's going to talk about life insurance. Oh, you just said, I just heard it. Half the room went, oh, God, life insurance? Jeez. <laughs> now, Leroy has has been done this with us before, so I don't know which elevator pitch he's going to use, but he's not going to just talk about you need life insurance in case you die. Are you, Leroy? Give me a thumbs up. You're going to be more interesting, right? He's got a nice table over his head, buddy. He does. But I don't see a thumbs. You're right. Pull your pull your camera down. You're too bright. He's on his phone. Okay. Pull your camera down. Okay. So remember, you you want to stand out. Now for Sharon and I, there's two of us. You know, we're 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 a two for. Most business coaches there's one with us. You get two, you get, to, you get two for the price of one, or two for the investment of one. We have two different uh, tracks that brought us to our coaching. You get different points of view from. We we stand apart that. Uh, we also have eight books. Most coaches never took the time to put any of their thoughts on paper. So start with what makes you different. So we call this webinar, and, and when we do this as a workshop, as a workshop, we call it elevator pitch because that's what you're looking for. You've heard the term elevator pitch. You know that term. If you need a better pitch, that's what you're looking for. The truth is that nobody wants to be pitched to. And so... When you're in our world, we actually call your elevator story because we don't want to hear a pitch, but we do want to hear your story. So that's where this comes in. What makes you different? It's not your pitch. It's your story. How did you get to do what you do? Why are you the bomb in what you do? Uh, this, this started for me. Uh, it got focused. Uh, during COVID, I, I would go on to, there's a, a social media platform called um, Clubhouse. And every morning at 7 a.m., there was a room on Clubhouse called Do Your Elevator Pitch. You could come in and pitch. And for over 60 days, uh, I did a different elevator pitch every day. And I said in the room, uh, doing a new elevator pitch today, just want to see what you think. And I only had to do that for a few days and people, when I would get introduced by the person running the room, all right, here's Hank, he does a new elevator pitch every day. I can't wait to hear it. And it got me more on top of my game because I knew there was an audience of human beings who were paying attention and I had to bring a better game. Now, I also knew quite rapidly that our target audience wasn't there. So it was a very low pressure high reward situation and now i've got 60 70 80 different elevator pitches in a, in a file on my desktop uh and i kind of go through hmm, which one do i need today what do i feel like performing today if you woke me up at three in the morning and said do, do your elevator pitch uh it would come out something like uh you know how a lot of small business owners struggle with everything has to do with their sales their marketing their hr well we're the easy button you press us and your problems go away. Yeah. That's the, the default. Because people can picture pressing that, that easy button. All right. All right. So you've just gotten 
learn how to make your elevator pitch more effective. Your next step is to answer a question. Did, you, did somebody, did you learn something new? Give me a thumbs up. Type yes in the chat. Awesome. Yeah. Coolness. Cool. Um, your first step, uh, if you want to make it better, if you don't want to do yours today, and honestly, I don't know why you wouldn't want to do it because this is a networking situation and we've got a dozen or so people in the room, you could generate revenue. Oh, God, there's pressure. No, there isn't. Because we all know you suck, and that's okay. No. Um, if you want help, you can go to howtogettherefaster.com, uh, and we can walk you through all of this again, uh, or we can walk you through it now uh, and give you some help. Uh, again, if you one more reminder, if you'd like to come to our boot camp, the dates are on your screen, uh, the 23rd or 29th. Uh, we'll show you how to put that elevator pitch into use in all of your different marketing tools and your, and your marketing plan. Uh, put your email address and the date you want, and we'll register you. It's going to be a fun day. Uh, and if you want our other webinars, they're at yourmarketingadvisor.com. That's where all of our other free webinars are. So uh, remember, you can lose or get your sale in 30 seconds. I'm going to show you the templates one more time. Here we go. And then there's the next one. And with that, um, we're going to, is there a way, Sharon, mm -hmm. that we can put them up here? If, I, if you stop screen sharing, but not if you want to leave that up. Now let's stop screen sharing because I want to I see everyone and I want to be able to, to look at you and oh, that's so much better. Awesome. Oh, it didn't, it didn't record. That's all right. So here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go in the order that we see you on screen. Um, we put you, uh, if you're on camera, we know you want to do it. Um, and here we go. So we're going to start. We're going to have Cindy, then Jan, then Jacqueline, then Leroy. And if you come on camera, you will go into the into the queue. Cindy, not that you're, you know, not to put any pressure on you because you're a coaching client, <laughs> but do good. You're up. Where did you put Leroy? Leroy's over there. Leroy is after Jacqueline. Uh, so when I was five years old, uh one day I decided to empty out my parents' change jar all over the floor. I separated it into the various denominations and counted it all up and then put it back in denomination order. And uh, I did this several times over my childhood and probably into my adulthood. Um, and I just enjoyed uh, counting it and watching it grow. And how that relates to my clients is I like to count and watch their money grow so that they can meet their retirement goals. My name is Cindy Crossett. I'm owner of Crossett Financial Services, where our family is serving your family. Wow, you were all the way through before you did your name. Good job. In fact, you were all the way through without even saying you were a financial planner. That's right. Good job. Do you, do you have another one ready, Cindy, that, that you just feel like doing? Uh, no. <laughs> you want to actually? You want to hear? I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you some notes that I took the other day. Okay. Um. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Um. Your. I have. I'm gonna write this one out for you. Okay. It has to do with you're looking for money in motion, retirement, people that are retiring, people that are getting married, people that are getting an inheritance. That money has to go somewhere and do something for you. And I'm an expert at putting it into play. Um, also mm -hmm. want to talk to you about, there's a book called Die With Zero. Have you ever heard of it? No. Look it up and we're going to chat about it. Okay. Um, and uh, I think that's it. I'm going to, I'm going to, these, these were just some notes that I took when I heard him and I want to put it, I'm going to, I'm going to write it for you, but okay. just know this is where we're starting. Okay. The only thing that I wouldn't say is that I'm an expert. Okay, you can switch. You can tweak it. You're called. Okay. You are an expert. But you are. 
I know, but that's for everyone else to determine. I just have a thing about, I don't like saying that I'm an expert because most of the people that I run into that are like, I'm an expert, aren't. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, we're gonna... They don't have all those initials after their letter. I know. After you're, like, you're like one test away from uh, CFP. I mean, two. Wait. Two tests away from two more Whatever. designations. Whatever. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that was Cindy because that she's an expert on Entropy. Jan, you're up. Followed by Jacqueline, followed by Leroy, followed by Raquel. Well, did you all know that there are a third of the people are that struggle with anxiety and fear of flying? in airplanes. Well, what I do is use a very relaxing and calming hypnosis process where they are embraced with a real joy of flying after they go through it. I'm a very special hypnotist because I'm Jan Bick. Wait, wait a second, one second. You said hypnotist, don't you mean hypnotherapist? Yes, hypnotherapist. Okay. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. And I am a very special hypnotherapist because I am Jan Bick, the hypnotherapist with a heart. Can, can I give you another way to do this, this one? Absolutely. Okay, let, let, me, let me workshop this as I go. Okay. Um, you all see it in the movies or TV shows. That person who gets on the plane and has to have six strength or pop pills in order to get from New York to wherever without losing it. <laughs> Honest to God, I can make that happen so that you'll enjoy your flight without drugs or, or any kind of alcohol. My name is Jan. I have a very special hypnotherapeutic practice. I specialize in working with people that have anxiety when they are traveling. My information's in the chat. Does that? Whoa. I know that's great. You know. That's what I can start with you. I wish I was an expert at all this, but Cindy just made me say I'm not an expert. Anymore. <laughs> you know what, Jan? Write that one out. Write out something like that and, and email it to me, right? I want to make sure that. Yes. I want to make sure that you have it down so you can practice. Yes. Thank you. Cool. That's why I'm here. And Jacqueline Levy, welcome. You're unmuted, Jacqueline, you are or you unmuted. have to be muted. You have to be unmuted. There you go. Am Not I unmuted? Time. There you uh, go. Listen, I apologize because I, I thought I would miss it. I had to go to something with SBA and person, and I said, oh, my God, I'm going to miss this, and I need it. So I jumped on, and you guys were on the other meeting, so let me get started here. Okay. So I don't have nothing jot down because I couldn't. I didn't know okay. I would. Just do, your, do, your, do a oh. shot. We're, okay. we're, we're workshopping. Having special needs, educating and raising special needs kids is a very lonely journey and trying time. Do you want to know how to save your sanity while raising and educating your disabled child? I'm the parent of a child with schizophrenia, a grown daughter now, starting at a very early age. And I give parents, teachers, and caregivers the blueprint to become their disabled child's biggest and best advocate. Follow me on all social media, media sites as Your Parent Advocate, or go to my website, www.yourparentadvocate.com. So close. Thanks for listening. Hope to see you soon. Um, solid. Good job. Couple of things. Um, okay. It's a bit long, so I'm gonna have you write it out, and you're gonna email it to okay. me. And we're gonna we're gonna work on it, okay? Okay. Next. Well, I know it was long, but I didn't know what I had to. Do. <laughs> it's all right. You're great. Right. We never, ever, ever, ever from now on say www. Okay. Gotcha. We I didn't think all, I had to. Say gotcha. We all know websites start with it. So what you what. When you're you say www, off. you're wasting time. Right, right. And pissing okay. people off. <laughs> this is this is a that's a that's a soapbox, soapbox issue for me. Um, you did good. a good job. Thank you. No problem. I, I like it. 
Um, I'd like to see a stronger call to action, though. Yeah. They can just follow you on social media. They can't really pay you okay. dollars that way. So I'd like okay. something else. You know, yeah, you could say go to my website. Honestly, in a, in a room like this, or even in person, most people are not writing it down. So my information is in the chat, or see me after the meeting. Let's exchange business cards. Something like that. Think it, think of a way. Is there something that will get them to actually have a conversation with you besides follow you on social media? So, Jacqueline, we're we're good friends now, right? Oh yeah, we best friends. <laughs> cool. Um, you ought to come to boot camp because I I know we can help you. But I'm gonna give you a tip. I'm gonna give you a tip right now. Okay. Your, your giveaway can be reach out to me for my special report. The five things you need to know when you know. Working with, with, you know, however you want to phrase it for your child. The five things to to tell your child teacher about their disability, whatever that that report is. Yeah. Well, guess what? Look, I have a free. Uh, that won't make money though. I have a free webinar that I uh -huh. do, and it leads to them taking the course. Should I offer the webinar? Yeah. Uh huh. Absolutely. Okay. Can, okay. can you keep a secret? Yeah. All right. Nobody else listen. I'm just telling Jacqueline a secret. So we do free webinars. You you might have seen we also we do a free boot camp. Okay. Do you think we talk about our coaching at all in boot camp? The answer is yes. And and yeah. we give a, yeah. a special offer for people that want to try coaching. So okay. you have the same sales funnel. Okay. Free webinar leads to a free discussion and from there, you can decide if you are the right person for them to work with. It right. isn't necessarily like it isn't necessarily them choosing you. It has to be right both ways. Make sense? Yes, it does. Cool. Okay. Sorry for the extra coaching. I know it had nothing to do with elevator pitch, but you deserve it. No, but it's it's good. I got. I don't want to hold up too much time. But what do well, you? Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait a second. How many people learned something from us coaching Jacqueline? <laughs> See? It's just you're giving us an opportunity for a teaching moment. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's why we're here, but, man. Thank you. But what do we sign up for 99 cents? We get a book, something we... Oh, we thank you for that? asking. I love you. On October 6th, Esther, I just made Esther laugh. I love that. If <laughs> Esther was drinking right there, Esther would have just spit it out all over her, all over her day. So ready for you. <laughs> on October 6th, um, if you go to overwhelmed and, and overthinking.com, our book, The Marketing Checklist for Your Guide for Overwhelmed and Overthinking Entrepreneurs, is going to be on sale. And, and, heck, you could just go to Amazon and put our last name in and it's going to come up. Um, you get the book for 99 cents. When you send us the screenshot that you bought it, we have a list of like seven or eight different videos and free stuff that you're going to get. It, where do we send out. the information that we get it from? Where, where do we send it? We email it to you guys? Yep. Okay. By then, by then Jacqueline, you you have our email address already, and you're going to follow us on Instagram or, or Facebook. And okay. Honestly, yeah. as of October 1st, for the next six days, our, our social media stuff is all book all the time. Okay. Because we hit, it's how we hit bestseller for each book. So. But, but thank now, you for asking. I know that I know that God, that was a very selfless thing for you to ask. Yeah, but look, I can tell y'all a secret too. Yeah. I'm just beginning to see why I'm not getting more leads and more people following through. Because hmm. I didn't really have my elevator spitting mission right. I'm telling people what I do. And yeah. when I do my social media um, uh, you know, posts and webinar, yeah. not webinar, but uh lives. I don't tell them what I do. I just go talk about my daughter and this, that, and the other. But I don't say I give people the two. I wasn't promoting my course and my book right the right way. So all this is just, and I've been written a book, but it's just, it, it just, if you don't meet the right people, just take time. It, it does. Come to boot camp. We'll teach you. Okay. All right. We're going to go on to Raquel and, and. Thank you. Thank you guys. And then Esther, because she's on, and then Charles is on camera, so Charles goes after Esther. Raquel, you're up. 
imagine a bespoke furniture and lighting sourcing experience where you are guided by an intuitive, approachable, and down-to-earth staff. I am the founder of RR Luxury Brands, and I provide expert concierge level service to interior designers and architects for any scale of project, period. Now you still need your call to action. And what, what do you want people to do next? Is um, it, is I don't it know. my information's in the chat? Is it my website is here? Um, you can get a, a 20 minute consultation on my website at what do you want us to do to start the conversation? So this, I'm doing this pitch via a webinar. Okay. Not, not right now, obviously, but hypothetically. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll post my. Yeah, it can I'll be a Zoom. It can be a chamber meeting. It can yeah, be whatever. It can be here. Okay. You could have come uh, into this room and say, hey, you know, yeah. I'm. I want to know. I want to be introduced. My your call to action could be. I would love to be introduced to any interior decorator that you know. Oh, okay. So after the the following sentence will be, um, I will post my website in the chat. Please take a look and let me know how I can, if I can be of service to you. Sure. Yes. You can be stronger than that. Okay. You can be more demanding. <laughs> People like knowing the direction. They yeah. like to know what the direction uh -huh. is. So, uh, yeah, you can. I can look at your website and yeah, okay, maybe. Or introduce me to your favorite interior designer. Oh, I yeah, I could do yeah. that. Okay, got it. Do me a favor. Um, you're sitting on a couch. Yeah. Your laptop is on a very tasteful. Uh, coffee table, right? It's very tasteful and 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 wonderful. No, it's on an IKEA plastic uh, lap desk. You're killing me lap. here. I don't. <laughs> sorry, I'm not. I guess I'm not following. Your 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 design is your thing. I was just picturing in, in this incredible, you know, space. space. All right. You want me to pan my camera to show no. my IKEA lap desk? What no, I would not. really like, <laughs> what I really need you to do is move it closer because I want to be able to hear you better. But it, uh, but I have the sound is it, coming. This is the, no, the microphone is my ear pods. You sound far away. Yeah, you're sounding muted. Oh, okay. Well, I don't I don't I'm not sure why. But it's not it's not the distance of the the computer. Okay, then right. it, it, it might be in the settings. Probably. So you have a you have an appointment with your settings later. <laughs> okay. Thank That's you. Good. Um, if you want to to work on that again, our email address was we gave yeah, that to I'll you, but Sharon's gonna put it. Yeah, I wrote everything down. Absolutely. Thank you. Well done. By the way, in your Zoom box, you, you come through really well. The the background is awesome. Uh, you know, we want you to command your your Zoom box. Um, our Zoom box. This is a black felt. This isn't virtual. Uh, it absorbs some sound and it allows for no ghosting when we move. Esther, you're up. Followed by Charles. Hmm. Uh, have you ever been in a party or hosted a party and, you know, there's a wallflower, like they're just standing there or there's like friends that are talking, but they already knew each other and they're not really interacting with anybody else. And have you ever wondered, like, how am I going to make all of these people have a great time together? I've always loved bringing people together with games. And so I created a party game company where you play ridiculous games but they're also insightful and immediately you break ice with people and learn things about each other that you never knew or would know but in a hilarious way it not only breaks the ice but more importantly it bonds people in ways that a simple conversation wouldn't my name's esther frank and i run a party game called be frank games i'm releasing a brand new game and i would love to get you a copy for 10 percent off i can get your email send you a 10 percent off coupon and keep you posted on new games that i'm releasing okay I'm going to give you an awesome minus. Um, 
here's the question. If I gave you 10% off at a restaurant and an Italian restaurant, would you go to there or would you still go to your favorite Italian restaurant? Probably still go to my favorite Italian restaurant. I mean, I know that's the answer that we're looking for. So, but I yeah. want the feedback. I want to know like, what do I offer? So. Okay. So if you have a discount, you don't have to tell us what the discount is. You just don't. And, and I really love what you're doing. It's a little long, but I love it. In fact, um, what do you do on Tuesday mornings? Well, normally, well, right now I'm not working. I'm freelance in the television okay. industry. We're having strikes. So I'm doing this as like my little side hustle. Go union. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want to invite you. We, we, have a, we're, we have a networking group that meets Tuesday mornings virtually. I want to invite you. We go, we go from like 730 to 9. Mm -hmm. I, I, think, I think you could get some traction there. Sorry, what did you say? Tuesday at what time? 730 to 9 in, in the morning. In the morning. Okay. Um, so when you email me yours, I'll, I'll connect you up. All right. That's great. And I think I have my one-on-one -on -one with you guys tomorrow. Perfect. Awesome. Thank Good you. Good job. Well done. Thanks. What, what do you do in the industry? I'm an executive producer for reality television. Cool. I, I hope this gets settled. Um, and I, favorably? I favorably for the union. Yeah, I mean, I'm not in the union, uh, but I it's, affecting, it's affecting everything. So we have we have way too many acting friends and writing friends, sound editors, yeah, production, yeah, and, and this is this is a really important contract that that's the yeah. But as creative as people, like I can't be idle, so I just have to put my energy into something that also could sure. grow something I love. Can you imagine how many scripts are being written right now? Or, yeah. or being sharpened or oh, wow yeah all right charles you. Martin, you're up followed by the next person that comes on camera sure claudia you can do it on you can do it okay on. I'm charles, good to see you man yeah good to see you i i uh, missed the first part of the class so not a I'm, not a problem in the world at all let's hear what you got <laughs> i'm just going on from what i hear everyone else say um, I'm a retired veteran from the United States Navy. Wait, 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 wait. But I'm having a hard time hearing you, and I and I want to make sure I can you hear me so now. Either, so if you have to, put yeah. whatever you're reading in front of the camera. Just I, I just want to make sure I'm hearing you right. You're retired. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you better. See that? Better. We don't need to see it. You can turn it so you can see it. We just want to be able to see you. You were looking off the camera. Yeah. Oh, so okay. And then hear I've got to be able to hear you. Is, so is it that better? What? That better? Yes. You're a retired what? Oh, I'm a retired veteran from the United States Navy. Thank you. Well done. Yes. All right, go for it. Okay. I'm starting a uh, eco-friendly recycling business, developing resources and materials with innovative ideas for the future with plastics, aluminum, and glass. The name of my business is C. Martin. And what's your call to action? What do you want them to do after hearing you? Yeah. Well, um, <laughs> send me all your glass, plastic, and, and aluminum. Well, wait. Who is your Who's your ideal audience? My ideal audience would be um, pretty much big businesses, um, like companies that have uh, computers that are thrown away. Uh, okay. So who at the company? Because if it's a big business, it's not the CEO that's going to reach out to you. So who would uh, it? No, I wouldn't be manager? reaching out. Um, I would be looking at the uh, pretty much, not your bottom managers, shipping and receiving managers that deal with your um I really haven't done any type of um, investigations or, you know, really get. I'm, okay, that's really important because yeah. your audience needs to know who it is that you're speaking to. So yes. right now you're speaking to consumers and that's not really who you want. So you really need to hone in who it is that you're, who, who's really going to hire you, 
And what is the message that they need to hear that will inspire them to use you instead of whoever they're currently using or throwing it in the trash or whatever it is? Yes, I haven't really, you know, this is just the idea as far as looking at a target. You you guys kind of put me on the spot with this. I just wrote this up. So let me ask three questions. Yes, Why sir. did you, what made you decide on this business? Um, because um, I've been wanting to get into it and I've been, you know, looking at it and I've done quite a bit of search, searches on the computer, looking at, you know, getting, uh, getting a building, looking at property, um, the bailing machines, um, looking at other businesses. Um, you know, recycling businesses. So, um, and I'm very intrigued by it. And um, did anything you do in the did 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 anything you do in the Navy inspire you for that? No, I I have an administrative field. Um, mm-hmm. I, I I think what bothers me the most is I have a very bad habit when I drive around the street. I <laughs> And it annoys my wife something terrible. I pick up bottles and cans off the street. <laughs> I will stop. Okay, Charles. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm about to give you the opening of your elevator pitch. You ready? Yes. I do something that annoys the heck out of my wife. When I drive around the city, I'm one of those people that picks up all the bottles and cans that people have thrown out. And you know what? I... I feel so strongly about having a cleaner environment that I've started a business that does just that. And then you go, you, your next sentence is, I'm looking to talk to businesses, you know, the shipping person of the business that is in charge of getting rid of all of the waste from that company. See, this is, this is the step. It starts with your story. You know, the personal thing that makes us think, oh, that's so cool. That's where, that, that's your beginning. That, that, that makes a lot of sense. I, I, knew all I, had to do is, yeah. I knew all I had to do is talk to you a little bit, and I was going to get that story. Yeah, out I, I really I like that pitch. I do look at it, Hank, and when I see it, when I see the cans or the bottles, and like you say, looking at the uh, shipping and receiving manager, I tell my wife, there's my money. There's our money. <laughs> yeah. You know, we um, one of one of our hobbies um, is that we are feeding uh, a group of stray cats that is down the street. In order to get down the street, we have to walk down the alley. And down the alley, people just tend to throw their bottles and cans away. And we bring a bag with us and we clean it up between the cats and our house. Like, doggone it, at least our strip of property is going to be clean. I totally relate to it, man. Like, <laughs> come on, people. The trash can, just bring it home to the trash. Oh, yeah. That quick. That yeah, is, just an annoyance. It oh. does annoy me, too. Litter just annoys the heck out of me. I hear you. All right, so. Um, I like that pitch, come, though. You should come to boot camp so you can get to know. We'll talk about audience a lot. Okay, and, now what, uh, it'll help you refine that. One more time, when is boot camp? Uh, you know what? Go to planyourmarketing.com. I'll put it in the chat. All the information you need is there. Okay, thank you. Absolutely. All right, Claudia Kovacs, you are up. Thank you and so much. Hope you can hear me. I just installed my new computer yesterday, so I, I don't know. I can hear you perfectly. Perfect. And by the way, Lana, since you came on, on camera, you're next. By the way, everyone look at Lana. Her background is perfect. Like it's not it, real. You can just buy it. I know. It it's, matter, it's you, still, look great. you look spectacular. <laughs> Thank just you. Right. Perfect. Well Good job. Thank you. The Thank plants you. Plants don't take away. It doesn't make me think. Oh, what is that behind her? It's a plant, and you're <laughs> lit well. Okay. Back to Claudia. We'll come to Lana after this. Okay. Here is my elevator speech. I make Oscar quality film biographies for high net worth families worldwide. My name is Claudia Kovacs. I'm a Hollywood film director with 37 awards. I tell the important stories of my clients on the big screen 
so their legacy can live on forever. If you're interested in having a conversation, message me on LegacyFilmsHollywood.com. Okay. Your next to last sentence and your first sentence should probably be switched. Okay. Um, you were reading, right? So you can do that switch really easily? Yes. Okay. Reread it, making that switch. Because the, okay. the next to last sentence is you're, you're telling us why you do it or you're you're attracting our attention with that sentence and i want that one first so reread it okay hold on no moment okay here one moment please your email is I, I tell the important stories of my clients on the big screen so their legacy can live on forever my name is Claudia Kovacs. I'm a Hollywood film director with 37 awards. I make Oscar quality film biographies for high net worth families worldwide. If you're interested in having a conversation, message me on LegacyFilmsHollywood.com. Awesome. Okay. The only other change is your last, your, your closing um, call to action says, if you're interested, it's not if, it's when. So just change the if to when. Got it. Okay. So... I love that you call out your, your audience, the high net worth part. Um, there's got to be another way, a better way of saying that. More eloquent, you mean? Yeah. So I'm assuming, because of who you are and the awards you've done, these are not $1,000 videos. Yeah, these are, you know, almost seven figure. Okay. So there's going to be another way there, we're going to need a little more detail. Um, you know what? Email me yours. I'm going to look at your website. I'm going to see if I can, if I can tweak it a little. Okay. Okay. And that email would be again. It's in the chat. It's in the chat. We put it in there a bunch of times. Go find okay. it. Okay. I will. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. And By Sharon. the way, do I know any, any of them? If I, if I go to your IMDB, am I going to be blown away? Yes, uh, and mostly by the pictures on my website, I think more, but yeah, okay. I hope so. I'm, I'm going to look and I'm going to see. I mean, if, I was in the Oscar competition for best documentary, so I hope oh, so. Oh, awesome. That's for you. <laughs> Congrats. Yeah, thank you. Several years, many years ago, um, I, used, I did reviews for uh, a website um, that people would know. And I, I loved doing reviews and, and I lived on IMDb. It was, it's one of my favorite websites. It oh, settled, my film it was settled so many invited, arguments. Yeah, my film was also invited to the United States Congress. So it's in the congressional records. Congratulations. That's spectacular. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, okay, great. I will email you. Really appreciate it. Yeah, do I'm that. I'm trying to find another way to say hi. I couldn't find yeah, it. Yeah, I want to I I sit on that for a bit. Yeah. All right. Is it, is it, by the way, is it Lana or Lana? Lana. It's Go Lana. for it, Lana. You're up. Okay. So it's a little bit longer than. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll tell you to shut up when you should shut up. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Don't Did bore you... me, Lana. Okay. Did you know there is no single marketplace where a social media influencers, bloggers, and content creators can sell their live webinar courses and coaching sessions, and instead they have to use exclusively social media channels requiring multiple subscriptions for delivery, high advertising expenses for marketing, and limited and repeated audience? InCourse solves this problem by representing an e-learning marketplace, AI-powered learning management and marketing system that dramatically improves the way creators build, market, and deliver live interaction courses, simultaneously publishing them on our marketplace, reaching a wider audience, and their own branded websites. We okay, you lost All right, you lost us. Yeah. Lana, okay. you're reading you it. Is that a Word document? Yes. Would you look in the lower left-hand corner and tell me how many words that was? It's the, the full one is 182. That's like, I wanted to like for a okay. one minute. So so Lana, 52. 52 words plus your call to action. Well, uh, no, 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 well. no, no. Look, my call to <laughs> no. action is, is this an area that you would consider making an investment? Would you like me to send you more information? It's too long because yeah. you haven't even called out your audience. Who is it that you even want to be listening? Is it an investor? Like, yes. Is it a I've first person? You didn't say that. So you I, have to 
say that at the beginning. And then you need to find those those few things that that audience really wants to hear, what is really going to intrigue them. Not all the bells and whistles, what's the benefit to them to want, in your case, since you were looking for investors, to invest with you? Lana, okay, that changes the whole <laughs> Lana, trust, You're going to have to trust me here. Okay. Or or ask Jacqueline, do I know, ask Jacqueline, do I know what the hell I'm talking about? And did she, because Jacqueline listened and she already fixed her stuff. So, oh yeah, I do know exactly what he's talking about. <laughs> we, we, can, we can fix you, Lana. Yeah, I, I would love to. That's why I'm here. <laughs> just, just a tweet. I, okay. Here's what I want. I want you to get it to a hundred words and send it to me. hundred words. If you get it to a hundred, I will help you get it. I will help you narrow it down. Uh, okay. But part of that hundred is at the very beginning, who are you calling out? So if it's, if yeah. you're looking for investors, then, then say that. Because what you did, what you did Yes. You knew it was really long, so you read really fast, and that and that loses your audience as well. I know you had the thought. I know you did. This so, isn't our this isn't our first elevator pitch rodeo. It, so, I mean, we do this like twice a month. <laughs> so if I want, like, if uh, this is the pitch for investors, if I want to have the investors and get their intention, how should I address them at the beginning? I don't that's, know. That's what I'm shot. struggling. Give me your best shot, and let me see. Here's, here, are, you, here's are, you, are you looking Lana, for 10x on your investment? Here's the difference between you and Cindy, who's up in the in the corner. Cindy's a coaching client. Mm -hmm. I'll do it for Cindy. I write, I'll write hers out for her. You're gonna have to meet me halfway. Okay. And and let me tweak it. Does that make sense? Well, I I would love you to tweak because I don't want anyone to write. I need to write it and myself. It's 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 I it's, totally get it. Yeah. Um, and you probably are going to need more than one elevator pitch. Mm -hmm. One for the people that are investors. You're going to need another one for people that are going to be, you know, course creators. And you're going to need an, a third one for people that are going to come to the site to do the buy. Yes, and different lamps as well. 30 seconds. Yeah, you can't 17, put it all in one, in one pitch. Right. I know. I, yes. Sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> well, uh, well. Thank you so much. Um, Thank you, I think. Would it be possible, because I was on my phone while I was listening at the beginning, to get the email address? Is you weren't paying it? attention? No, I was, but I was Oh, you're on your phone. Yes. It's in the chat. It's info at ulofcreative.com. .com. And it's Y-U-L-O-F-F. -F. Y is in yellow. U-L-O-F-F-creative.com. -F oh, yes, I got it. And mm -hmm. if anyone, sh anyone else should come to boot camp, it should be you, too. You'll just argue with me all day. Thank you. Okay. All right. <laughs> Anyone else want to give a shout? We've got Jose Luis and we have Michelle. Jose Luis or Michelle? Awesome, yeah. Claudia. Thank you. Going one. Jose Luis or Michelle? Going twice. Michelle, our new winner. And as soon as you unmute, we will hear the the luscious sounds of your dulcet voice for this person. Hi. Hi. Okay. Um, I'm hoping you're I, in the middle of Target and you're doing this at a store or something. That'd be great. I am actually because um, I had to leave my house because I was trying to set up, but the guy, he was um, doing the lawn. So it was very noisy. All right. So let's okay. hear it. Okay. So... My friend was wanting to lose weight and I had just gotten uh, my certification and I wanted to help her with her weight loss journey. And I was able to help her lose about a hundred pounds. And I'd like to do that for you too. So if you're up for it, why don't you give me a call and I, can help you with all of your anxiety or any problems that you're trying to overcome. Wait a minute. I'm wait, 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 wait. You, you shifted from weight loss into anxiety into other problems. One elevator pitch, just like Lana, Lana just learned. Okay. One elevator pitch is not going to do it. See, Lana, I pick on everyone, not just you. Um, 
one elevator pitch ain't going to do it. So you're going to have to do another one for anxiety and you're going to have to do another one for, and you just rotate them around. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Room. If so there are a bunch of people like me in there, you do the weight loss. If it, there are a bunch of people like Sharon, you do the anxiety one. Oh, I sense. see. So, oh, okay. So just, okay. So let me start by again. Way, and the next question is, I was wondering, okay, she got her certification in what? You lost Risk me there. I was, oh, sorry. Started, I didn't know if I was And then I started to... thinking, who certifies the certifiers? And my mind just, just kind of took a, a wrong term. And this is what your audience does. I see. So, uh, I, I see. I was confused. I wasn't sure if I was supposed to say I'm a certified restorative hypnotherapist. Why wouldn't but, you? Oh, okay. Because I'm glad I got on here because I thought I was supposed to leave that part out and like make Why? it a mystery. I thought it was something like make it mysterious or Why? something. No. Okay. Who told you that? <clears throat> who who messed you up? I don't know. And, and I, I got, almost used a different word. I almost used a four-letter word. Yeah, I know. A confused mind doesn't buy. So if they're confused by what you do, then they're not interested. They tune out. That's probably what my problem is then. Okay. Your challenge is what? Uh, my problem was... No, your uh, challenge is what? Weight loss. No, no, no. You do not have problems. You have challenges. Challenges. My challenges are for the people are weight loss. Uh huh. Sort of. No, your personal challenge is that you were you were giving your story incorrectly. I see. Okay. Yes. There we go. Cindy just okay. laugh, started laughing hysterically because on almost every Monday mastermind call that we do with our clients, someone slips and say, "Okay, my problem this week is we, your challenge is what." Yeah, my problem is with your challenge is what? And we will not continue until I realize that it's a challenge, not a problem. Problems are negative. Challenges are positive that we overcome, correct? I see. And you, your clients have challenges and you help them overcome them, right? I see. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. I see. So it's I just love a doing that to... for hypnotherapists. I love doing that to hypnotherapists. It's the best Thank thing in the world. You. Thank you. Thank you. So I'll just, each time then I will stick to weight loss or stick to one topic sure yeah, right. okay yeah. okay because um so should i just start it again it's this is I all just off the cuff. i think what you should do is 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 work on it email it to me and we'll tweak it by email all right okay that sounds great now i'm going to teach you all something i want you to all pay attention here I have told several of you to email it to me as opposed to continuing to work with you here. Have you have any of you noticed that? Show of hands. I have done what is in neurolinguistic programming called sending you on a quest. We have given you information. I am willing to give of my time to help you. However, if you don't email it to me, I just saved myself some time. I'm good with it. I will I will not remember who you are. I will forget. It'll just I you were on a webinar. And I don't have to I saved myself some time. However, if you are willing to, for example, cut your 182 word down to a hundred. All right, I'll meet you halfway. I'll tweak it. I'll give you some time because you solved the quest. You you were willing to put give yourself, invest some time in yourself. So if you are, I am. Now, people will ask you to do things all the time. Before you invest your time to help them, feel free to send them on a quest. It can be as simple as send me an email, remind me. Or it can be rework it and send it to me. What the quest is, is up to you. If you internalize this one last fact that I gave you, you will save yourself hours and hours and hours of time 
every year and aggravation. and aggravation and you will think of me and you will smile. That tip was worth every bit of time you invested here today with us. So uh, glad to have you all here. If I see your emails, I'll look forward to it. If I don't, it was nice to see you. Um, <laughs> if you go to planyourmarketing.com and come to boot camp, we will have a great time. Uh, we spend an entire day making your business better. Yeah, we'll talk about our coaching program a little bit, uh, the way stuff works. Uh, some of you at that point might decide, oh, wow, they'd be great coaches. And some of you will decide, oh, God, I cannot, I can't get away. I don't want to see him ever again because he was too mean. Doesn't matter. We'll have fun. So, that will just refer us to somebody else. Exactly. By the way, if you refer us a client, you make 300 bucks. Just putting that out there as well. So have an amazing rest of your day. Uh, remember our motto, if everything happens for a reason, be the reason things happen. We will see you next time, everybody. Thank you Jan, so much. Pleasure to see you, sweetie. Cindy, you're awesome. Love you. Thank you, Thank Claudia. You. Bye, Thank bye. you. Bye. bye.